Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and we're going to take a look in on the Calamity Bin. Needs a name, doesn't it? Alright, well let's see what the Calamity Bin is doing. I have not peeked on this bin since the last time I showed you guys something. But there is a lot of worms in here. Looks like they're making some good castings. Does not, this part does not feel too wet. Keep digging around and see what I find. Make sure I go deep enough into the bin this time, make sure I don't leave the bottom too wet. But I think I put enough coconut core in here to sop up Great Lakes. I know I said I was going to, you know, not feed them until things smelled better, and I don't smell anything at all now. It doesn't have any sort of funky odor to it or anything. Make sure you keep pulling up this cardboard. Make sure there's not any soupiness going on all the way at the bottom. Looks like they're working fast though. Moisture feels good, even all the way to the bottom. And see, I'm touching bottom now. And there's not any overly wet areas in there. Considering how full this is, I can't really afford to um, put a lot of bedding in or anything like that. So I'm just going to have to pocket feed until this whole thing gets, um, you know, used up. I'm just going to have to keep pocket feeding it instead of doing what I usually like to do, which is to give them a little bedding and a little food. All right, well, this week's theme is uh, leftover tapioca pudding and coffee and lemons. So the, I'll give them a couple of handfuls there. I know there's quite a bit of worms in here, so I think that's a good amount for them. I don't think that should be too much and should help make sure that all that liquid soaks in and maybe they'll finish up that bedding. But they're looking healthy in our little calamity bin here. And uh, just wanted to make sure you guys got an update on that. As you can tell, all of the little wormies are super happy. Looks like they're plowing through that new bedding. And it also looks like they're making a lot of good castings. So hopefully in another couple of months, when they've finished up all the bedding and all the coconut coir that I've added to them, then I can harvest this and start over. Alright guys, just a quick update on the Calamity Bin. Give me a muddy thumbs up if you like the video. If you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. Alright guys, thanks for hanging out with me, my worms. Everybody, have a good day.